Okay, thank you very much. Um, I'm going to talk about love because uh, why not? And um, I think we all have at least one great love in our life, if we're lucky, two. After that, you're completely knackered. <laughs> but I want to just share with you my experiences of this first great love, and maybe we can learn something from each other. This poem is called Margaret Thatcher and an African Lover. <laughs> You see, it's healing people already. <laughs> I first met her in Yorkshire near the corn mines. It was love at first glance. <laughs> to hear her beautiful authority vocal chords, she put my heart into a dance. She said, you were once under the British Empire. You remember when Britain was great. She said, I'm going to take the power away from the unions and squeeze their balls until they break. <laughs> In an effort to demonstrate a point, she gruffly grabbed my testicles. <laughs> what a grip the iron lady has. <laughs> we went off to an African restaurant like two moonstruck teenagers in a candlelit corner, surreptitiously eating our food from each other's fingers. As a sensual African rhythms made our bodies swear. Well, that Maggie can swear when she's ready here. <laughs> Ask the French people how well she can swear. I generally reminded Maggie that African peppers are stronger than European ones. But caught up in the ambience of the moment, she ignored me and developed a delicate but rousing case of the Irans. <laughs> so up to the hospital we went. When we reached to the back of the queue, she was sent, but slightly creeping and sneaking, Maggie persisted despite everyone's concern. But the head nurse bellowed to Maggie, to the back, and take a no U turn. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> this expression had a very big impression on Maggie, and on her rise to power, she closed down many national health hospitals, most likely. <laughs> she changed. So I left her, but this was not Maggie's doing. Those sleazy Tory MPs used her to gain power. They wanted to send her back to green grocery. You know, to spite me, she tightened up on the immigration bill. <laughs> she said, if this English rose cannot have your sunshine, then no African azalea will. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. Out, out, out. <laughs> they wanted you. I am a mere man, what could I do? I wrote to Nelson Mandela for his point of view. He wrote back. <laughs> Dear boy, I think you are bitten off more than you can chew. <laughs> <laughs> we will meet again. Don't know where. Don't know where. But I know we will meet again some sunny day. Thank you.